Okay, so let's have a quick look at um, the keyboard, shall we? Firstly, let's just have a look in the settings. And under general, and down here at the bottom, we've got keyboard. So I press on that. Here are loads and loads of different options. I find them really, really useful, but auto correction can annoy people sometimes. Uh, but spell and check is really useful. If you don't want any of these on, just switch them off. Um, if you could make sure that split keyboard is on, and down here, you can put shortcuts in. So basically, if I tap in OMW, um, into a document, it will automatically change it to on my way, and you can add some more down here. So let's go back home and let's open the document up and show you an example of the different things that keyboards can do. So, here is a document I created on Keynote uh, for our iPad launch. So, I'm just gonna tap in this text box here and Here's my virtual keyboard. If I hold down onto some letters, I will get a number of different options. Linguists love this, um, as do many, many other people. So just by holding certain keys down, you can get more options. And the same can be said um, for the symbols and the numbers here. So if I hold down the full stop, I get three full stops there. What is very, very useful, let me just delete these, is that you can split the keyboard. If I, now you can't see properly, but if I keep my fingers on uh, J and F at the same time, as you can see, and then move my hands apart, I can split the keyboard. And that can make things a little bit easier for some people to type. So that is very useful. Let me just delete what I've just written. There we go. Now, if I want to just put that back together again, I'd do the opposite of what I just did. So J and F and just bring my fingers together to join them up. What is a bit of a pet peeve of mine is the fact that this keyboard is always at the bottom. Sometimes, every now and again, I want to be able to move it up and down. Now that's really straightforward by clicking on this button here, keep my fingers on it, and there is a split option to do what we've just done, or an undock, click undock, and then by clicking on this arrow down here, right, let's try that again, shall we, so it actually works. Keep my finger on it, click undock, and then I can move the keyboard up and down by clicking on that symbol and I can uh, undock, split. And there we go, I hope that was useful.